In this video, I'm going to show you a better keyword strategy for your Google Ad campaigns. Now, last year, Google made a number of changes to the Google Ads platform like they always do, but the change they made around keyword match types was probably the most significant. And we've had to update our keyword strategy in line with those changes to get the best results. For example, one of the most popular strategies that people used to use when it came to keywords and ad groups previously was to add, create an ad group with all the keywords they want to target, things that are closely related to their products and services and then create separate ad groups for different match types. So you'd have all your keywords as exact match in one ad group, all your keywords as phrase match in another ad group, and all your keywords as broad match in another ad group. That doesn't work that well anymore, and here's why. In front of me, I've got Google's support doc on keyword match types, and we can see that some of the information they're providing here is very, very interesting. Let's take exact match. The little description beneath it says, ads may show on searches that are the same meaning as your keyword. And that's quite different from what it used to be where exact match was exact match. Your ads would only be shown if someone searched for that exact keyword, but because they've switched to this meaning and they give some examples, lawn mowing service is similar to grass cutting service and therefore your ads can be shown. What that means is that trying to separate things out really neatly in terms of an exact match ad group, a phrase match ad group and a broad match ad group is not going to work as well because some of the searches that previously would have only been triggered by your phrase match or even your broad match keywords could now also be triggered by your exact match keywords. So I wouldn't recommend having that structure where you separate out keywords by match type. Instead, you want to separate out keywords by the keywords themselves and include multiple match types in each ad group, but separate them out into closer groupings around the meaning of that keyword. I'll give you an example. Let's say we wanted to advertise for our Google ad services and our YouTube ad services. Now you might think that those are closely related keywords and you advertise on YouTube through the Google ads platform. It's kind of the same thing. Therefore we can lump them in together into the same ad group. And perhaps as people used to do, create an exact match phrase match and broad match ad group variation of those. But it's much better off now actually to create a separate ad group for Google ads and you could have an exact match for Google ad services, a phrase match for Google ad services, maybe a broad match, but often we don't use broad match all that much. And then a separate ad group for YouTube ad services, exact match, YouTube ad services, phrase match, and do it that way. That's a better way to group your keywords into ad groups. That also means that you can better tailor your messaging within your ads and maybe even your landing pages. So for someone that's searching for Google ads, they will see ads that contain headlines with the term Google ads in there. And maybe if you can go the extra mile, they'll go through to a specific landing page with the Google ads terms on there as well. Whereas if someone searches for YouTube ads, even though you and me know that there's a lot of similarities there, it comes under the same bracket. If they see an ad that's got YouTube ad services in the headline, they're far more likely to click on that than someone who's just generically advertising using the overall catch-all term of Google ad services. So they're more likely to click on that ad. And then again, if you can tailor that with a more specific landing pages that focuses on YouTube ad services specifically, they're more likely to convert, you're more likely to get the business and your campaigns will be more effective and more profitable. Okay, so there's one other thing I need to mention about this change in Google ads keyword strategy based on these changes around match types. Before I get into it, I just want to quickly let you know about our done for you Google advertising services. My business can create, manage, optimize your Google ad campaigns or YouTube ad campaigns, uh, whichever you're looking for. And um, if you're interested in finding out more, you can click on a link in the video description. That'll take you to a page where you can book in a call with one of my team members. We can explain what we charge, uh, how it all works, see if you'd be a good fit, and hopefully we get a chance to work together. So with this big keyword match type change where we're switching from it being all about the keyword that you enter to it being about the meaning. And we talked about exact match earlier, but you could say the same with phrase match here. We can see the information here is ads may show on searches that include the meaning of the keyword, not just the keyword itself as it used to be, but the meaning. You can see that these keyword match types are getting broader. Google is effectively forcing us to use broader keyword match types than we did previously. Not necessarily broad, it doesn't quite work like that but they are broader than what we had previously. If you're used to running Google ad campaigns before this change and you used exact match, you were expecting to get exact match or very close to it. That's not necessarily going to be the case anymore. Same applies to phrase match. What that means is that more searches are going to cause your ads to be shown that aren't perhaps searches that you would like your ads to be shown for. They might be relevant to your products or services still, but perhaps they're not as relevant as you'd like them to be, as relevant as you need them to be for them to deliver the best results. Some people searching for those may come through and convert, but it's not going to be a high percentage. 
Now, Google is obviously doing this in part because they're trying to get advertisers to spend more money. That's what they're incentivized to do. But we need to be aware of this and adjust our strategy accordingly to get the best possible results. So what you need to do is be spending quite a bit of time as a Google advertiser in your search terms report. You need to take a look at the search terms that are causing your ads to be shown and any that are in there that you think that's not quite right, I don't think that's the best use of our budget, you want to go ahead and add those in as a negative keyword and make sure that you've built out your negative keyword list to be really comprehensive. That's going to allow you to generate high quality clicks from your Google ads, from searches that you actually want to generate clicks from and avoid the rest that are simply going to waste your budget. Now, if you want to find out more information on exactly how to do that, I'd strongly recommend you check out this video. I show you exactly how to put together a really comprehensive negative keyword list, how to use your search terms report. We often check our search terms report every 48 hours. We're doing so quite regularly, and it's really important, especially with this keyword match change. Go ahead and check it out.